Good evening. Welcome. Oh, good evening. Good day. Welcome back to the Black Queen Prophetess channel where I do, where I practice cardamancy and tarot reading. Today I'll be doing the weekly read for Libra. For Libra. For the week of May 14th through May 20th. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, again, I apologize that I have not been do. I did not do last week's reading for you, Libra. Um, I have. <laughs> I I had an emergency. Well, I didn't really have an emergency. I just really need to take a break. That was the emergency. Okay. <laughs> That was the emergency. Okay, um, I will do a nine-card cardamancy read with the Orleans deck, and then I'll be doing a one-card read to wrap it up. Now, <clears throat> let's start your reading with a prayer. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place, and I yield myself to you to receive and to convey the message you have for Libra for the week of May 14th through May 20th. I thank you for your message, Holy Spirit. I thank you for the sermon and wisdom. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, let's get into what is it that you have for the, the Libras today? What is the weekly read? What is the message you have? For our Libras today, what should they look for? What should they look forward to? Mm. What issues should they be avoiding or or taking care of? What is it that you want to talk to the Libras about today for this week of May 14th through May 20th? All right. Okay, you definitely uh, want to talk about this Capricorn that you may have in your life. This is the topic. That's Queen of Diamonds will be the center card here. There is a Capricorn energy in your life, Libra. Or a very resourceful woman. A wealthy woman. Some of you are experiencing a luxurious lifestyle right now or will have an opportunity uh, to live that champagne life. That's exactly the song that came to mind. My, my neo song, Champagne Life. Big both days. Mm -mm 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 -mm. To be okay, less us than us. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Consequently, the singer of that song and may be the writer of that song is also a Libra. So um, y'all are going to be living the champagne life. Hmm. Sounds like you're going to be living that champagne life this week. Uh, you may be celebrating something. <clears throat> jewelry, fashion, luxury. Um, you may be getting real estate. This may also represent a very wealthy woman in your life, a uh, resourceful mo uh, a mother, a stepmother, a mother-in-law, a mother by marriage, by marriage, okay? So you may be your stepfather, I mean, stepmother, no, your, your father married remarried and uh this is the stepmother in your life or your in-law your your mother-in-law okay <clears throat> here we go all right so first thing that came to my spirit here is there's a problem that's being handled here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
yes. There's a problem that's being handled here uh, with this uh, five of spades. And the Holy Spirit is saying that uh, this, maybe your mother-in-law is helping out a financial situation. Yes. This person is really resourceful. They're really coming in to help you out here. And I'm feeling like it may be related to children here. Yes, this is uh, handling the problem. Um, and then you have the five of clubs, which is um, you may be changing a job. You may be going on job interviews or something. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is saying some of you are changing jobs. And in the interim, maybe you have child care to take care of. And this in-law, this mother-in-law or stepmother, this mother figure, this resourceful woman, either way, they're helping you pay for your children's um, like daycare or day camp because something is coming here in Atlanta. Children will be out of school soon. And... Um, Maybe she's planning on helping, helping out with your children, Libra. Maybe they're going to their mothers, your mothers, your your mother-in-laws for the summer. Cause you, mm-hmm. Maybe yeah. I see that your, um, your in-law your mother-in-law specifically is coming to pick up the kids. Yes. One of your kids is, is her favorite. Yes. One, one, one of the babies is either uh, this is a Pisces child, kind of like the, the golden child, the favorite child, and then you, <laughs> you have the troublemaker right here. Um, this, this um, oh, you have two children that are kind of like One's the troublemaker, one's the angel. Either way, both of their behinds is going with their, with your mother-in-law. Both of them are going... with your mother-in-law. And if this child isn't a troublemaker... Or because this child is a troublemaker, he may be going into the military or some type of military school. Because the space, Jack of Spades is also representative of youth in uniform. So, um, or maybe he'll be going to a school where, but no, 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 the military school. I see this one in the military school. That's going to kind of straighten him out. Oh. For real. Holy Spirit said for some of you, this this in-law is paying, helping pay for his his um military schooling or some type of program that he's gonna get him on the straight and narrow.
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, you also have this five of diamonds, which is saying that you'll be handling some money. That means you, mm-hmm. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is saying this resourceful woman is giving you the money so that you can prepare. I mean, you know, get the what's necessary for your children. Yeah. To go to it's really about this trouble. You know what I'm saying? She's helping you out. She's giving you the money and then you are doing the legwork. Or maybe this child is in trouble and needs to be bailed out. Mm-hmm. Now you have this uh, six of hearts here, which um, really. Yeah. 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 Okay, Holy Spirit. Okay, so yes. She's giving you the money so that you can get the supplies for your children to go to school. But she's taking them for the summer. But you're getting money so that because the six of hearts represents um, studying books, knowledge. So... You're going to need books and that type of thing for your children to go to school. And, you know, but yeah, she's getting either that or she's coming to, she's giving you the money to put them in like a boot camp for the summer. Some type of military boot camp. For this one, this, the, the golden child, they're going to be traveling. So you have a golden child that's, you know, pretty much a, a really good student, really, you know, the angel. And then you have one that you, you have the troublemaker, you know what I'm saying? is always in trouble and you're trying to get them on a straight and narrow. And this resourceful woman is helping you. She's giving you the money so that you can send him to this boot camp, this school for the summer. Meanwhile, the angels, he's traveling. He, he may be going with the grandmother, with his grandmother. He's going to camp for sure. For sure. For a fact, a mundo, okay? Now, the outcome card here is this eight of club, which means <clears throat> this is a work or business situation. This is an offer of work, a change of job. Now, this is a change of job, too. So, somehow I feel, ooh, I say somehow I feel like I don't know why I'm feeling this. This is the Holy Spirit giving me the message that I prayed for in the beginning. Um, is this is the situation, this is the scenario for this week, okay? You apparently are starting a new job, okay? And your in-law, your mother-in-law specifically, is coming through to help you out, to help you handle the issue of child care or what to do with your children 
while you're starting this new job. I feel like your job will have you traveling and you need someone to watch your children. In comes your mother-in-law. Mm. Ooh, the Holy Spirit says you're paying her to take your children. And you have one, you know, you got one that's always in trouble. And then you have one that's the angel. Okay. For some of you, the arrangement is to pick them up from school. Because summer isn't here yet. Holy Spirit's like, yeah, it could be the whole summer camp for some of you. But for others of you, school is still in. You're, you have a new job and you can't pick up your kids and you're, you're paying your mother-in-law to pick up the boys from school. That's what she's there for. That's what she's there for. Okay. So it wasn't about the champagne life. It was about this woman, this resourceful woman that's coming in to help you handle a problem. And that is child care for your kids. Or being there for someone to pick them up from school. Something very simple. That's, that's very simple. Okay. I hope you gave your mother-in-law a beautiful Mother's Day uh, treat. Okay. Being that she is coming in to help you out in this way. Okay. This mother-in-law may be a Capricorn, or this resourceful woman may be a Capricorn. It might not be your mother-in-law. Maybe a stepmother. It may be um, an auntie that is uh, resourceful, but it, you know, it's definitely a, mo a mother by marriage or a mother figure by marriage. Okay, and it's definitely a woman. This resourceful woman is. Is very nurturing because they're coming in to help you out. So starch and regal that Queen of Diamonds is. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's the last message you have for Libra for the week of April 14th through, I mean, May 14th through May 20th? Holy Spirit, what's the last message you have for them? Okay, we got the Ten of Knives. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. There's a, this is a woman who is has adored several stabbings. But she ain't down. Okay. This tells me that you, you, you've had a lot of things going on, Libra. You've been betrayed several times. But you still stand strong. That, that takes more than that to take you out, Libra. It takes more than that to take you out. But we come up in the yin, which it may be saying that you're suffering from the negative uh, aspects of this card. Now, let's get uh, some more information from the handbook on the Ten of Knives. You may have to go into a resting period. Maybe the issue that your that resourceful woman in the nine card spread is there to take your children 
while you handle the changes that you need to go through. So the um, ten of knives traits are crises and painful endings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the yin, it is rock bottom, destruction, crises, deep wounds, refusal to accept that something or someone is over. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, you'll get through this. I've been there. I've been there, Libra. When it comes to an end of a relationship or end of some type of cycle that you have been going through, and it's painful. And the best way to get over it is to first accept that it is over. Do not get into a, a, a disillusionment of the situation. It's over. That, that relationship is done. Move on. Okay, Libra. Now, to get aligned, follow your working and living environments. The chance, it said, allow your working and living environments the chance to breathe. Open the windows. Leave, let it go. Let it go. It's over. That relationship is over. Okay. As soon as you accept that, the sooner you can start to heal. Okay. All right, Libra. You all have a wonderful week. And I will see you back here at the Black Queen Prophetess channel. Now, to stay in the top five, you must, you know, watch this video to the end, tell a friend, like, share, and subscribe. And um, the ones that get the most views and likes and comments will be in the top five. Now, the other way that you can be in the top five is if you... Are in your season and that is Libra season it isn't until what September October so you don't want to wait that long I already know it so go ahead and get them views up and share it to someone else so they can view it all right watch it a couple of times if you don't understand it leave a comment if you want to ask me any questions or if you want a personal reading just um, hit me up in the comments and I'll arrange a way that you can get your personal reading done. All right. That's all I have for you. You have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye.